I've been part of the Presswood students team for over a year now, and there's a lot going on. Hey, did you eat my other sandwich? Shh. You're going to wake him. And Presswood's a pretty big place. I mean, there's a lot of people, a lot of ministries, and that's when the question popped into my head. What's it like to be in these other ministries? So in fall of 2019, I went undercover to find out. Uh, Children's ministry is fun. I need some cookie. cookie. Hey guys, just give me some cookies. Hey guys, but uh, a lot of butter cookies. Adult ministry, they're all grown ups. And then I said, what am I? A Molinus? <laughs> 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 so it's a little too mature for me. And missions, I mean, my toes just got cold after a while. There I was, 478 days deep into missions. Mm. I knew those people, and they knew me, mass revival. And that's when I knew I was called to missions. Michael? How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Eventually, when people started figuring out they weren't uh, the happiest, something about cashing multiple checks and fraud and against the law, I mean, but at least it kept me in the loop. Like, how else was I supposed to know that Prestonwood students has their spring break mission trips coming up and that there's still availability for Jay High and High School to the Dallas trip, March 9th through 12th? What was I supposed to do? Pay attention in meetings? Read my email? I don't know. Go online where you can also sign up at prestonwoodstudents.org slash missions and actually read about it? Psh. Who do you think I am? That being said, it's actually going to be really fun. So sign up online at prestonwoodstudents.org slash missions and We'll see you there. Every time I make these videos, I just think it's the dumbest idea I've ever had, and then I make it. <laughs> Sign up online today. Y'all know I actually am drinking coffee out of these, all the videos, right? Like, all of them. It's like at a nice temperature now. When I started the video, it was like piping. So it kind of hurt, you know, like when it burns deep inside you, like a fire in your soul. Like, how else was I supposed to know that Prestonwood students had their spring bake? Spring bake. We're doing a bake off. Hey guys, it's Erin from the North Campus, and I just wanted to check back in with you and just let you know we're so excited you're here for midweek as we are going through 1 John. Tonight, we're gonna look at this concept of how we have been called to love others and how this is an old commandment and yet a new commandment, and both at the same time. I was thinking about this even in, in light of tonight. I've always heard Disney is really cool, and I've always heard everyone should go, but it wasn't until I actually went to Disney myself and saw how amazing it was that I truly understood how great that was. And I think that that was what was happening for the church too. They had heard they were supposed to love their neighbor. They'd heard they were supposed to love others. But until Jesus came and was that example for them and walked among them, they didn't really understand the depth or the greatness of that. So that's kind of what we're going to look at tonight as you're in 1 John 2 is this picture of Jesus as this example of being called to love others because the world and everything else throws so many examples to us of what love is supposed to be and we miss out on the bigger picture of what that truly is. And if you know Jesus as your savior, it changes everything. The light is on in the room, but if you close your eyes, you miss seeing it completely. So open your eyes tonight. If you've never made the decision to follow Christ, do that now. If you are a follower of Christ, let yourself be known by how you love others and be that light in a really dark world.